Now, along with the water supply, life for more than two million people in western China is returning to normal. This is one week after one of the country's biggest oil companies was blamed for contaminating the water supply with benzene. Hu Chao joins us now live from Langzhou with the details. Hu? Well, the contaminated site is undergoing a cleaning up. Two pipelines, which were affected by the poison benzene, will be soon replaced. Reconstruction work will start in uh, late April and is expected to end in uh, mid-May. Uh, about 90 households of villagers in this area will be relocated. Local officials say they will receive some compensation. Water supplies have resumed and the government stop, stopped offering free bottled water. Um, as the life gets back to uh, order, many citizens still feel deep concern about water safety. Back to you, Philip. Lu Chao, what's this controversy over this uh, delayed report or delayed contamination report about the water? What do we know about that? Um, well, Villa Water um, is a Chinese-French joint venture and the sole water supplier of Urban Lanzhou. Uh, 2.4 million people are using their services. On Monday's press conference, the deputy manager of Velia Water explained that benzene is not within their routine tests required by national rules. Um, uh, in a special full-scale test uh, that was required by local governments, they were able to found excessive levels of benzene. As to the one-week-long report delay, the deputy manager explained um, for quite a long time by quoting many technical terms, but finally he didn't give a sound explanation as the press meeting ended. Back to you, Philip. Hu Chao, live for us from Langzhou. Thank you very much for that update.